Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Blaze. Once every decade or so, a product comes along that is so new and revolutionary in scope that it challenges the very basis for a profession or industry. In dentistry's last half century, we've witnessed several of these events. The introduction of the high-speed handpiece, fluoridation, dentin enamel bonding, and of course, microdentistry. And now the new century ushers in Cabo's Diagnodent, the laser fluorescence cavity detection system. Here, finally, is a product that will forever change the way dental caries diagnosis will be performed. The Dental Explorer will soon join the extraction key and the amalgamator on the shelf of the National Dental Museum. I am very pleased to have been asked to host this presentation. In my position as editor of Dental Economics, I've been privileged to evaluate and report on most all of the new dental products to hit the market. But none has been more exciting, nor offered the potential for true paradigm change than the Diagnodent by Cable. Few new products reach the dental marketplace with the universal acclaim that has greeted the Diagnodent. Here at last is a diagnostic tool that takes the guesswork out of finding decay with an unparalleled rate of accuracy. A tool that allows the patient to become an active participant in the diagnostic process. CAVO, a leader in dental research and development, now offers two versions of the Diagnodent. The Diagnodent Classic allows for patient interaction and education. During scanning, the patient can hold the unit while both the operator and the patient monitor the values on the unit display. The newest addition to the Diagnodent family is the Diagnodent Pen, a handheld cordless device. The Diagnodent Pen is ideal for the dentist to confirm the precise location of the carious lesion prior to restorative treatment. In our office, the hygienist uses a Diagnodent Classic in order to include the patient in the diagnosis. But I use the pen in my operatory in order to pinpoint the exact location of the carious lesion. This permits the use of minimally invasive procedures. That way, I can prepare the smallest possible restoration while ensuring that the decay removal is complete. This interactive DVD may be played on either a computer or the TV and the viewer will have the opportunity to navigate through the various chapters with a simple click of a mouse or a DVD controller. The new user will find valuable information on the setup, assembly, use and maintenance of the Diagnodent. These sections may be viewed as often as necessary and will be especially valuable for training of new personnel. I strongly recommend that the whole team become familiar with the Diagnodent and its impact on your practice. Be sure to watch the Getting Started module and take the interactive quiz at the end. This will ensure that everyone will be comfortable with the correct use operation and maintenance of this equipment. After watching this DVD, the non-chair side team members will be able to answer any questions patients might have about this new technology and to use that information to promote your office as one that offers the very latest in dental technology. I know that you will enjoy and benefit from this experience. Hi, I'm Gordon Christensen. It's my pleasure to express my research and clinical experiences with the Cavo Diagnodent. We've conducted in-depth research on the device to determine if it's a reliable indicator of the presence of dental caries in class one and class five areas, as well as I use it in the depth of tooth preparations when I'm trying to make a decision as to whether or not I should stop removing caries. The Diagnodent measures laser fluorescence in tooth structure. The laser is aimed into the questionable area. 
The two-way handpiece optics allows the diagnodent to measure the amount of reflected light from the laser. Two structure has almost no fluorescence unless it has stain or calculus on it. I've got to remove that. The more caries present, the more fluorescence, and obviously the higher the reading on the diagnodent. I'm pleased to state that the device was very reliable in detecting caries that could not be confirmed in any other way. Explorer, radiograph. As you probably know, it's not useful in class two or three lesions. We need one of those devices tomorrow. You want to invent one? We need it. And class five lesions are observable by eye, normal vision. Let's observe a few examples. One of the most frustrating situations in restorative dentistry is determining when a questionable area on a tooth is actually caries. As you observe the occlusal surfaces of this tooth, can you guess if it's carious or not? I can't. Clean it with an air slurry polisher and can you now see caries? Doubt it. Can you determine if it's carious by using an explorer before placing a sealant? Doubt it. It's almost impossible to detect if initial caries is present on an occlusal surface. Additionally, you, I, can't determine the presence of minimal sized carious lesions with a radiograph. You know it. I've been practicing long enough to see that the current radiographs of today with low radiation have almost no ability to tell me initial carious lesions. The D, E, and F speed films that you and I are using, if we're still using standard radiographs, are not capable of showing initial carious lesions. And if you're into digital as I am, you can't see it any better on digital. Our research shows that the typical dental radiograph, whether it's conventional or whether it is digital, shows on the average about one half of the depth of the carious lesion, with a range of up to one seventh of the carious lesion. Compare the depth of the radiograph and the actual lesion in these two images. You see caries there? Yeah. I'd restore it, probably be a minimal class two. Mm-hmm, what do you think? Major. Was the radiograph useful? No. And how about this clinical example? Did the two premolars appear to be carious on their occlusal surfaces? Both were highly suspicious when analyzed by the diagnodent and restorations, yes, they were indicated. And another classic example is shown in the following images. Do you see caries there? No. Do you see amalgam there? Of course. I must remove the amalgam because it will not allow an adequate use of the diagnodent. If it were composite resin, same thing. If it had a lot of stain or calculus, I'd have to use an air slurry polisher to remove it. Look at the radiograph. In between the teeth, what do you see? Between the two molars, you see some caries. Is it very deep? Who knows? Can't tell from the radiograph. And on the premolar, same thing. Let's use the diagnodent on the occlusal surface. What do we see? Are the grooves that are there going to be carious or not? Should I cut? a large cut across the occlusal surface, weaken the tooth, or should I leave some of the transverse and oblique ridges? Diagnodent told me. I left a ridge across the mesial of the first molar, as you can see, but look at the caries between the molars. Look at the caries on the distal of the premolar. And subsequently, we place resin-based composite, and you see the clinical result. That should be a strong restoration on that first molar because we've left that transverse ridge, which I would have cut away had I not used the diagnodent. The diagnodent is a significant adjunct to detection of class one and class five carious lesions, as well as determining when a tooth preparation has had adequate caries removal. Its value is evidenced by both research and by the many practitioners who successfully use it routinely. As dentists, we can be proud of our contributions to the health of our patients. Certainly, no other profession has worked harder or been more effective in preventing and eliminating the most chronic dental diseases. With the introduction of the Diagnodent, CAVO has given us the opportunity to take the next step in quality care. 
you have seen how the use of this technical advancement continues our profession's proud progress toward total dental health. Thanks for watching.